An upgraded skateboard park, long sought after by local fans of the sport and its related offshoots, is moving closer to reality as the quarter million dollar fundraising goal is inching into sight. Currently, a war chest of around $188,000 has been raised towards the construction of a new facility at the Dana Thompson Rec Park in Manchester, with a recent announcement of $125,000 in new funding having been received from the Vermont Country Store and two other anonymous donors. The plan under development by a town community committee is exploring an idea to replace the current park with a 20,000 square foot facility built in three stages on the site where the basketball courts are at present. Town manager John O'Keefe explains. Yeah, we, um, we actually think overall, um, not just for the, for the purposes of the skateboard park, but also for purposes of just the general recreation of the park, it actually makes sense to flip the two assets. Uh, so skateboarding will go here, uh, where the basketball court currently is, um, and then you can see behind us there's some area to expand here. Um, basketball will be going where the current skateboard park is and actually we'll be getting three courts instead of the one that we have here that runs this way and then some hoops on the side. We'll actually have three basket, basketball courts side by side. Renamed the Manchester Action Sports Complex, the new facility would be a concrete-based park. The committee is soliciting bids from possible contractors and plans to review them at a meeting scheduled for later this month. The committee, which was formed following a select board meeting held earlier this year, has discussed several alternatives and came up with the idea for the concrete park for skateboarders, sports bikers, and scooters after much discussion, said Matt Langan, one of the committee members. Sure, sure. We're still in the RFP process in terms of seeking out design build uh, proposals, but really the vision is to make it a concrete skate park that mirrors what you would see in Burlington and other cities, a world-class skate park. And uh, I was certainly drawn to the opportunity to come on board to help out with this committee because I think this is something that could certainly benefit the entire community of Manchester, Vermont, uh, over the board. And, you know, in many ways, the evolution of skateboarding, it used to be an underground sport when I was younger in the 80s, it's evolved into a mainstream sport and uh, it's going to be in the Olympics uh, in 2020 in Tokyo. And in many ways, I think it mirrors the evolution of Manchester, you know, with the park here continually evolving, the downtown keeps revitalizing. And I think the skate park is just uh, another great asset for us to have for all ages to use. 31st, 31st of May, the committee will meet. Um, we've actually gotten a lot of response from, um, from professional um, building companies that actually did the design and the build. Uh, so we're looking for a company that would do both, come in, work with our committee to, to actually get a final design and then build the skateboard park. Um, we're hoping that actually with the timing working out, that we'll be able to break ground this fall. And uh, that would mean that the skateboard park would be skatable this fall. A lot of the stuff like landscaping, you know, we wouldn't have grass around it and things like that, but a lot of the skateboard park would actually be usable this fall. A fundraising event at the new Union Underground Restaurant is planned for Tuesday, June 12th, starting at 4.30 p.m. It's more of a happy hour, um, just to really celebrate the community and where we've gotten so far. And then we're gonna host a number of private fundraising events uh, throughout the town, uh, targeting certain people that we believe will support this. And I wanted to add one other thing that John mentioned about the design of this. And you know, the committee is filled with very incredible, creative, high energy people. And we've discussed different unique characteristics of the park that we'd like to pursue and have the park really have a sense of place that, man that matches Manchester. So for example, we've talked about perhaps a ramp that mirrors the mountainscape of Equinox in the background. Or we have uh, various marble parts, slates, uh, everything that just makes it, I mean obviously a concrete skateboard park is gonna be awesome for us, but we wanna add that little twinkle of magic to really have that Vermont element to it. We're going out for RFP, but the work's still not done yet on fundraising. We still have we still have some more fundraising to do, uh, but at this point, with such a high percentage of the money in, uh, I think that the town and the committee really felt like now is the time to go out to bid um, and try to find a, a really good um, design firm. For the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.